Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and I'm here today to talk to you about Perfect Photo Suite 9.5. Now, the icon still says 9, but if you were to go up to Help About, you'd actually see 9.5. Now, this version is all about performance, and I actually have a little bit of delay in mind because I have a few network drives that are currently offline, so that takes a few seconds. But um, if I were to go ahead and close this now that it knows that and reopen it, you can see it's no problem. It's just the first time it discovers those drives, it's uh, a little slow. So if I come over here, I have some files that are loaded in a CF and SD card. And so there's no smoke and mirrors going on. This happens the first time you go to the images. It loads all the thumbnails seemingly instantly. Um, faster in Explorer, it seems sometimes. And if I go in and pick some random file, it just loads instantly. Both RAW and JPEG are just blazing fast. And this is off of a, uh, S, a CF card. If I go to this really slow uh, SD card, let's see, where is it? And try to open one of the files from there. You know, here's a Fujifilm RAW file, no problem. Here's a JPEG file, no problem. So, you know, performance is just really great. I um, can't get over um, how great of a job they've done with speeding things up. I can get to things like my Dropbox and uh, Google Drive and OneDrive, and, you know, it's just, it's it's been awesome. And so, you know, if I were to go in and open up some files off my drive, no problem. You know, super fast. So how that loaded, and this is a big 4K image. So um, <laughs> another cool feature is that they have this uh, concept called albums. So this is like your collections Lightroom. And so if I were to go and just randomly grab a few photos and then say create collection I can say add selected items fave 4k items oops bam everything's uh, loaded and there's no file or no folder on the disk this is just a virtual location so I can come up here and go back to my pictures or come back down here to albums and quickly get to this and because it's a collection I can delete this and I didn't actually delete those files um, you know, everything's still back there where it belongs so you know I've been really really happy with the overall performance um, you know I've I just want to show you those images are still there um, I have a bad uh, drive here on R that sometimes will cause a little hang but um, Overall performance has been really great, super happy with it. So another thing I can do here is I can come over to my D drive, go to pictures, make this a new favorites folder, and then I can quickly come in here and start working on files. So if I want to come over here, do uh, black and white effects, I have all my uh, options for doing a, um, essentially smart objects concept uh, with uh, layers or I can do JPEGs and uh, TIFFs as well. Come in, everything loads quickly. Use this one here, go through and look through all the previews. Works really nicely. It's really super fast. Everything's looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Now you'll notice on my demo, uh, my text is really weird. Everything's really large. That's because I'm running large fonts. This is actually normally a display I run in 4K. So you wouldn't see that in the 4K resolution, but I didn't record the video in 4K resolution. So ignore all the overly large text that you're seeing in here. Now, if I come over to Portrait, this is one that's... Uh, big improvements have been made too. So if I select this photo, click on portrait, loads up quickly, and the face detection is improved drastically. So I'm going to close that and I'll select this face. And it quickly um, locates the points. And before when things were wrong, it was a little bit uh, sluggish sometimes. Now I can come in here make some oops 
make some changes and get instantaneous feedback. Everything is a lot smoother and easier to use. And so, you know, performance-wise, things have really gotten great. And, you know, the interesting thing is, is that this is a computer I bought several years ago. So this isn't some smoke and mirrors with the latest, fastest, you know, machine out there. Um, this is an i7 from, uh, I believe, four years back uh, with 16 um, gigs of RAM. So uh, it's a decent machine, but uh, definitely not as fast as some of the new speed demons that are out there. And so, you know, I can go and make adjustments now really quickly and easily. You know, so if I wanted to apply, I'm going to do a, a really drastic one here. And then come back to Freckle Saver and switch. Performance is just awesome. So I've been really happy about that. If I come in here and say save and close. Bam. File created. Everything done super, super fast. I go double click on it you can see the results so big improvement over its predecessor so another cool thing they have are these things called luminosity masks so if I come over here to effects and then let's go ahead and create a copy that's a PSD and let's suppose that I went into landscape effects and I decided that I wanted to use this magic sunset because I like what it does with my fall colors here. But I really would rather have my nice um, blue sky versus this yellow sky. Check this out. So I'll select that filter. It's applied. Come back over here to layers. And with that layer selected, I can say mask, create luminosity mask. And you'll see that what it did was it masked out all these uh, areas down here and left in the uh, sky. So it's just really the opposite of what I want. And because I had uh, not selected this lower layer, you don't actually see uh, what's underneath it. So I'll put that back. With this uh, layer selected, I'll do a control I to invert the mask. And then now, if I do a before and after, you'll see that I got the effect that I wanted here, but my skies remained intact. So it's a really quick and easy way to improve an image um, and have a really complex mask without doing a lot of hard work. You know, it used to be I, I fought so hard to fix the sky and had to use uh, you know, the masking effects and spend a lot of time doing it, but with the luminosity mask, I just did that in seconds. So really cool feature. You know, I'll definitely do a more in-depth review of uh, this product later, but I wanted to give you a quick highlight about some of the things that are new about it. For the performance features alone, I think it's worth the upgrade, um, especially if you already have nine. Uh, it's a free upgrade. And then if you do any sort of the masking stuff that I've tried to do here, you know, this luminosity mask stuff is a lifesaver. So, you know, if you have a really old version or you know, new to the on one suite, this is a really cool feature. So um, between that and just the you know, really great improvements in the browse layer, you know, I've I've been really, really happy, you know, with the, the cool things they've done here. So be sure to check it out. Thanks a lot. Bye.